Okay, so here we have a triangle with sides three, four, and five. And the question is, is this a right triangle? Well, that question leads to another question, and that is, what is a right triangle? Okay, so hopefully you know what a right triangle is. If you don't, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it here in a second. So if you're, let's say you already know uh, what a right triangle is. You're like, oh, I know what a right triangle is. Well, then the second question or the primary question of this video, this particular problem is how do you determine whether in fact a triangle, okay, is a right triangle if you've given the sides of a triangle like this. Now, it's not enough to say, well, it looks like a right triangle. That's not gonna be good enough. We're gonna have to use some actual geometry, some really, really important uh, concepts in order to prove this. So if you know um, how to answer this question, go to put your uh, answer into the comment section, but just make sure you back it up. But uh, this is super important stuff. I'm gonna try to break it down nice and easy. We're just gonna stick with this one prompt for this particular video. And we're gonna get going here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And if you're struggling in math, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be that way, okay? You definitely can do much better in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to work hard. So if you're working hard right now, that's excellent. But the second part to the equation to be successful in math is you need great math instruction, okay? Clear and understandable and comprehensive and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it uh, in the description of this video. It will help you out big time. Also, if you're taking any sort of test uh, that has a math section uh, on an, a dedicated math section, something like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school uh, courses for homeschoolers. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. All right, so let's get into uh, answering this question. Is this a right triangle? And uh, let's first just answer this question. Uh, what is a right triangle? Okay, so uh, here is our triangle. Well, this is a right triangle right here. If one of the angles in our triangle, and remember there's three angles in a, uh, a triangle, right? So here we have an angle here, an angle here, and then we have an angle over here. So there's always three angles in a triangle. And if one of those angles happens to be 90 degrees, okay, well, then by definition, that is a right triangle, okay? So a right triangle is any um, triangle that has one of the angles being 90 degrees. And that 90 degree angle will be indicated by a little kind of like square in the corner like this. So when you see a right triangle, let's suppose this is a right triangle and I write my little triangle like that, technically this is not complete. Okay, I should put a little little box like, uh, like so, but I didn't put that box because we're asking a question, hey, is this a right triangle? We haven't answered that question yet, but this is how you would know, um, know from a kind of notation standpoint whether in fact this represents a 90 degree angle which is in fact a right triangle so that's the question um or well that's the concept that we're looking at is hey is this triangle right here with sides three four five in fact represent a right triangle well that's going to uh, bring me to this right here okay the way we're going to answer this question is we have to use something called the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, this is critical. This is probably one of the most important um, uh, rules in mathematics. And this is called a theorem. And a lot of that's just basically a fancy word for a law. There's this specific things um, that goes into what a theorem is and a postulate and an axiom and everything else in mathematics. But basically what you need to know is that this right here uh, can be proved. Uh, so in other words, it's a proven concept. And uh, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b, b squared is equal to c squared. So that's the theorem. And a lot of you are saying, oh yeah, I, I know uh, uh, that theorem. I, I remember learning it back in algebra or geometry. So here is the theorem, okay? And here is the problem. So now go ahead and answer the question. I'm giving you the theorem to answer the question. Now a lot of you are gonna be like, hmm, wait a minute here. You're gonna be like, 
well, yeah, here's the theorem, but I'm not quite sure how to apply it. Well, that's what this whole video is about. But uh, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and apply this, if you think you can kind of use the theorem to answer the question, well, then go ahead and don't feel bad about pausing the video and, and kind of practicing along. But let's go ahead and talk about that right now. Okay. So here is the Pythagorean theorem, uh, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. But really, uh, the theorem is not going to make a lot of sense unless we see a triangle, um, a figure that kind of go along, uh, that goes along with that uh, theorem. Okay. So uh, again, typically when you see the Pythagorean theorem, you'll just see it like this. But a lot of students, you know, get confused because they don't remember how to apply it. So the A, the B, and the C are, um, uh, these here are the lengths of a right triangle. So the Pythagorean theorem is only for right triangles. Let's make this clear right now, okay? I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth. This theorem, okay, is only, only for 90 degree right triangle uh, situations. Okay, this is, doesn't apply to any other type of triangle um, that you'll find in geometry. There are that's kind of like a um, you know, I don't want to say an incomplete statement because there are things out there called the law, uh, two laws, laws, laws of sine and cosine, which is kind of longer versions of the Pythagorean theorem that uh, solve non-right triangle problems. But that's a little bit more advanced. If you want to learn about that, I'm going to check out like my pre-calculus um, uh, pre course. I go into all that theor uh, real thoroughly. So uh, but if you're at that level of math, then this is going to be very easy for you. But anyways, let's go back to the Pythagorean theorem. So the A and the B, okay, uh, these two sides are the shortest sides of the triangle. The C here is always going to be the longest side of the right triangle, and that's called the hypotenuse. Okay, so you need to know that word right there. So the longest side of a right triangle or any, um, uh, well, yeah, a right triangle is going to be the hypotenuse. I almost said other, type of tri other types of triangle, but we'll kind of skip that. So when we're talking about right triangles like this, the longest side, that's going to be the hypotenuse, and that is always C. Okay, that's always length C. So our other lengths, okay, our smallest lengths and our middle lengths, this is A and B. It doesn't make a difference whether you put the A here or the B there. You could put A here or B there. But C will always, again, be the hypotenuse, and that is opposite from that 90-degree um, angle, okay? So now we have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. C squared. So what we're saying is that the lengths... Okay, A, B, and C, these represent the actual lengths of these sides. Okay, so if we square, we take A, okay, whatever that measure is right there, and we square it, and then we take B, whatever this measure is, okay, and we square that, and then we add these up, it's going to be the same as if we take C and we square that. Okay, so when you have a actual right triangle, this relationship holds true. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, you know now that we understand that, let's go ahead and have you apply this. So you notice I'm not showing you the full answer right now because I want um, those of you out there that understand this now. You're like, oh, okay, now I get it. Well, then go ahead and, and challenge yourself. See if you can actually determine whether now, whether or not this is, in fact, a right triangle. Okay, so how would we do this? Well, I'm going to just describe it to you so you can actually do it yourself. But what you want to do is go ahead and plug in these sides, you know, into the uh, Pythagorean theorem. OK, this right here. And then just go ahead and see, is the left hand side going to be equal to the right hand side in value? OK, if it is, in fact, this works out uh, if the algebra and the math all comes together and you get the same number for the left uh, equaling to the, the number to the right. OK, and this is true. That's a this is a true statement. Then, in fact, these sides are the sides of a right triangle. So that's how we're going to solve this. OK. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this now. If you want to do it on your own, go ahead and pause the video. But let me go ahead and show you how to do this right now. 
Okay, so again, the hypotenuse, that longest side is always length C. Okay, so that's easy. So I'm going to say C is equal to 5. And then these two sides here, they, one could be A, one could be B. It doesn't make a difference because the math will work out. So we'll let A equal to 4, B equal to 3, and then of course C will be equal to 5. So let's go ahead and plug everything in. So A squared will be 4 squared. B squared will be 3 squared. So that's going to be A squared plus B squared. You can see the math here. Is that equal to C squared, Okay, which is going to be 5 squared? Okay, So let's go ahead and do this now. 4 squared is 4 times 4 is 16 plus uh, B squared or 3 squared is 3 uh, times 3. That's 3 squared or 9. And then 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. So what's 16 plus 25? That is 25, or, or 16 plus 9. I was getting ahead of myself. 16 plus 9 is 25. 25, in fact, is equal to 25. So the fact that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, this is a true statement. And it came from these sides indicate or tells us that, yes, indeed, 3, 4, 5 is, in fact, um, the sides of a right triangle. Matter of fact, this is a special type of uh, right triangle called a Pythagorean triple, okay, because these are nice little uh, integer values, 3, 4, 5. We don't have square roots or decimals in here. So these are kind of like even more like special right triangles, Pythagorean triple. But anyways... The main idea here is uh, to, one, get you to understand uh, what a right triangle is. Two, to make sure you understand what the Pythagorean theorem is and how to apply it, how to use it to solve an, or answer a question like this. But there's a lot more applications uh, that we have in terms of uh, the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, We solve right triangles, uh, uh, right triangle problems. Let me go and show you, for example. Let's suppose I had this question right here. And I'm saying, there is a right triangle, what is length, uh, what is the side uh, right here? Okay, what is side B? What's this equal to? Well, then you're going to have to know some basic algebra. And again, we're still using the Pythagorean theorem, but, you know, you're using the theorem and you're using your algebra skills to solve geometry problems. So if you've, uh, you know, ever wondered, is there algebra in geometry? Indeed, there is. Okay, but if you got this right, well, let me go ahead and just, you know, not forget to give you a nice, lovely, happy face, an A++, uh, 120%. And I'll give you a few extra stars just for being so awesome in mathematics, but here's the deal. The Pythagorean Theorem, probably one of the most important things. There's so many important things in mathematics, but the Pythagorean Theorem is just like right up there in terms of... Uh, you know, uh, mathematics. It transcends so many courses. It's in geometry, it's in trigonometry, it's in calculus, it's in basic uh, uh, math. So you really, really need to understand uh, this theorem and practice it. But uh, hopefully this was a good little start and a good little review for those of you out there who are wondering, hey, you know, what is a right triangle and how do you answer a question like this? And again, if this video helps you out, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need additional help with the Pythagorean Theorem, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel and it. Of course, I teach it in um, my other courses, uh, Pre-Algebra, Algebra 1, and obviously in Geometry as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.